Hello at my mind, my name is Mr. P and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon Part 2. Let's just continue where we left off last time. We left off last time, just a reminder, um, when Ninvento just released the TES, so I have something new to publish my games on. And also, I started a research, right, Wild West. So let's go to the Wild Wild West. Genre. Um, the topic is Wild West, the genre is um, an RPG. Eighty thousand. Okay, um, we should do this. Well then, uh, Red Dead uh, Redemption, Revolver, Revolution, um, Red Dead Raccoon. So, two D graphics. Mm -hmm. Story quests is pretty important for uh, an RPG. Gameplay, not that much. I look at Fallout 4, I mean, most you do is like uh, do settlement missions and uh, collect adhesive. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, I love this game. <laughs> um, engine. Yeah, maybe the engine is pretty important. Speaking of the, the console, I'm making it for the TES. Yeah, the Elder Scrolls series and engine. Yeah, like bugs and shit. Wow, Dog Hunt was my best game so far. Awesome. Dialogues. Very important. Level design. Also important. AI, not that much. I've seen, like, if you see RPGs like Mafia 2 or uh, the Gothic series, the artificial intelligence that is atro atro atrocious. Also, like my blub, my flabber is really atrocious tonight. I don't know why. Maybe because it's late or so, I and mean, it's 3:10 a.m. Eh, whatever. Graphics. Well, graphics. Uh, <laughs> Morrowind was still uh, very successful, uh, even though the graphics looked like ass. But world design is key in an RPG because that's that's what Morrowind had down him. I mean, it was really otherworldly with all these creatures and everything and the plants and the fungi and everything that was everywhere. The graphics were shit, but it was great what they did with the graphics. So, let's finish this. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry for the pain. <clears throat> Yeah, so much level up. I got it. Yeah, thank you. Really is game. Bank account is in the red. Thank you, bank account. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I won't go bankrupt. I just released my game. <laughs> red Dead Raccoon. Oh, let's do this. Come on. Fun at stages, not a four, at least. Ooh, why is this doing so poorly? Nice experience. Okay. Seven, eight, seven. Okay, seven. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on. Generate game report. Select. Okay, Wild West RPG is great, and uh, world design very important. Okay, so I got it right. But it still fare so poorly. Custom game engine, is that a thing? I want like I want better graphics than like the, the poor 2D graphics on the on the C64. I, I think the NES was better than 64 in, in terms of graphic. Pretty sure. Custom game engine. Create your own game engines to get started. Close this message click anywhere. Game tutorials and mono sound, okay. Create custom. Okay. I call this the starter engine because it's my first one. Now creating your own game engine. Once the game is finished, engine, will, engine is finished, you will be able to use it creating games. Okay. Oh, it is 2D Graphics V2. 
Ah, okay. Nice, nice. Red Dead Raccoon. Wow, 155,000 in sales. That's pretty fucking amazing. And I get some research points. Nice. Okay, my new engine. <laughs> Try using it in the next game. Yeah, maybe not. I don't have enough money. Fine. Contract work. Extra cash. Small number of research point. Miss a deadline. Okay. Three weeks in design and technology. Penalty 7k, pay 16k. Oh hell, play just a game. Oh hell yeah, I can do that. It's proven massive success. Sale numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Okay. Yep. I get this guy who said playing with the controller is so much fun, more fun than playing with the keyboard. I mean, I like playing with the keyboard, but uh, since I'm left-handed, I am um, kind of I have a problem like, with the keyboard because like the the button layout around WSD with C and 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 uh, control and everything, it's not very intuitive for me. And um, also playing with the controller, I have just some games that feel better with controller, like. Um, Games uh, that have like a third-person thing, like Assassin's Creed or um, or what was it, um, Infamous, um, Prototype. Uh, you know all these games, um, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. All these games that have like third-person, where you like switch the camera very far. It, 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 I, I like like playing these with with a controller. It has a way better feel than playing it with a keyboard. Not some other like arcadey games where you have like uh, all, have to have all your buttons like um, in reach. And have to press multiple at once, like in Gang Beasts or Broforce. Um, yeah, it's much more fun playing with a controller. Except, of course, strategy simulation games and, and shooters, because uh, you need the mouse for those. Of course, you, you know that. Um, yeah, this was successful, so I get a little bit more money. Jason here just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. New contract every six months, so check back sometime. Okay, so I can't. I still can debugging or I think I can do this local animation. Okay, I'm better in technology than I, than I am in design. Dude. Contract failed. Wow, you piece of shit. You did nothing. <laughs> well then, let's uh Let's make a new game. Business simulation on on the PC with the starter engine, and we just call it I don't know when this game plays, but let's do this. So, Trade Federation Sim 1984. 2D Graphics U2. Yes. Yeah, I'm going into the red, but I, I think I can handle it. I can think I can like make my comeback because I have this 50k. I can like uh, go into the red, so I will use it. Story quests, maybe not. Gameplay, uh, more engine. I don't fucking know. Simulation. No, they don't, those don't have much story. The engine should work. Gameplay, not that much. So, thinking of City Skylines, which is kind of this. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development. Yeah. How important area type of game and hence. Okay. Plus plus level design, okay. So this? I should have read this more carefully. <laughs> okay, business simulation. Did I have a simulation before? I don't know. Um 
graphics and sounds well designed. I don't think any of this is pretty imp really important. So maybe just like this. It's also the thing that I have to finish this game. Well, not that bad. Between the variety of gaming devices, it's great to make it for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others for more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on the specific age groups to really make an impact. Okay. Mm hmm. Target audience. Okay. Well, I can't really say anything about this because I've been playing games that were aimed at at older people when I was younger, like uh, like I said earlier, I, I said it earlier, right? That I played Dungeon Keeper and Populous in the beginning at eight years, which were not aimed at eight year olds. Also, like uh, Anno 16 and 02, which also wasn't aimed at eight year olds. Yeah, that's how I roll. <laughs> and now I play Pokemon on my DS every day, so yeah, it's weird. Anyway, please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nice, amazing, awesome. Thank you so much. That's great. So, okay, let's generate a game report. Trade Federation Sim. Massive success. Okay. At Wiener, another Japanese company, at least a home gaming. Okay. So, Sega. Yeah, Sony should come way later. God damn, this was such a success. Awesome. Game report, okay. Business simulation, great combo, of course. Graphic, very important. Haha, <laughs> shit. PC simulation, great match, awesome. Like I said, those games are just made for PC. Ah, yeah. Uh, develop a game. Oh, yeah, I can. First, I'm gonna research. A uh, new topic. Game tutorials. Mono sound. Target, I think target audience should be pretty important. Yes, I can afford this. Already over 500 fans in year three, month three. So I'm with my channel. I'm in year two, month 11 now. So it still doesn't add up. I, I won't have uh, that many fans in like March next year. So. It's dumb. It's dumb. Why did I compare these? According to our market uh, research, a recently published game, Pet Sim 1984, is a surprise hit with players. The developer Madness Inc. is fairly new to the gaming industry. You can't wait for what we will develop next. Wow. That's fucking great news. <laughs> Goddamn. Main target audience. And young people, everyone, mature. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, what didn't I, live, live simulation on the test for young audiences, and we call it the Sims, so it could be a live slash alien crossover, and it's the starter engine, so let's do this, 2D graphics v2, yes, nice. Gameplay engine, not so much. So, what's the master V? Tactical superior to master. If anybody remembers what this is about, please tell me. The fuck? A Sega Mega Drive? Ah, I don't know. And I already forgot what was important in the thing. I don't know. I think a high AI should be pretty important for a simulation. Thinking about the Sims. Mm hmm. Wow, oh, 255k. Wow. God damn, that was a hit. Wow, this is motivating to make to do more. So, simulation graphics are important. I think we'll design also a little bit. So, 
mm, what is that should be really important I mean if I think about the sims hours and hours that uh, like they are architects uh, put into it to like create all these homes and everything weird finishing and they put another bug into it even though I was like clearing up the out the box all right yeah yeah the sims mm -hmm. new level in 2d graphics v2 nice <laughs> Ooh, game report. Yes, the Sims. Oh, please. Seven. Seven. Ace. Eight. <laughs> oh, nine. Awesome. Okay, damn, I get this, this shudder on my arms when something awesome happens like this. Yeah, I don't I don't think the Master V, whatever this is, will get any success. I don't even know what it is. Knife simulation. Story quest, not very important. Oh, okay. Knife and simulation, great combination. Okay. Alright, some more contract work. Debugging. I can do this. Backdrops. It's just backdrops for the game. So this is should be fairly easy, or or maybe not. Still of the market worldwide. It's, uh, not, it's not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Okay. But I would love to know where I am in this kind in this game now. Come on. Thank you for not failing me at the last design point again. Contract successful. Okay. I still won't uh, get that Vina Master V thing. New topic. Um, another business simulation for the PC starter engine. And I'm gonna call it I don't know what Trader Joe's is, so maybe not. Um, I mean, it's the same thing I already released, but eh, whatever. <laughs> it was a good game. Um, I'm bad at this. Uh, capitalism, supremacy, USA edition. Yeah, this, and it's a mature game. Uh, everyone young everyone um no mature because business 2d graphics so story quests not important gameplay important engine maybe also i don't fucking know sales record over 50k units okay nice Nice. Rank 19. Wow. Uh, level design. AI, not so much. Yeah, why didn't I do this? I, I know that. So dumb in the last game. In the last uh, game I released before this. Yeah, graphics. Yeah, important. Or design. I don't know. Sounds, maybe. This, the, the wonderful sound of cash flowing into the bank. Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. Before everyone with your company is developing a game for mature audiences, what are you willing to give us an interview about this? Great, thank you for your time. Okay. We will push it next week. Okay. Alright. No, is this where the hype comes in? Company working to mature players. Madness? Oh, uh -huh. we think. Uh, take this risk, give it to them. Okay. More common, we are curious here what market would rate. Okay, the Sims now off the market. Wow, 393,000. Wow. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. Hype is mostly generating events. Marketing and shit. Okay. Hype 15. Let's clear out the bugs. 
I don't want I really don't want the game to be like an uh, overhyped and then uh, be released as a buggy mess. So release this game and uh, generate a game report. Forgot. Sorry. Mhm. Mm Six. Six. Well, let's say just five. Not my best game. Fuck the hype. I think it was just hyped and then it wasn't as good. God damn. New research. Casual games. Okay. Dialogue's not important. Platform uh, audience match. PC match are great. Topic audience match. Business match is bad. Thanks for notifying me. Recent Commodore seems to slowly losing market share. Yeah, thank you. Official has been unsuccessful for introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Okay. So the C64 is dying. Nice. And also, my game was shit. It's not good. But let's save anyway. And so, this was this. Um, this time, you know. New thing, the interview, the hype, and my first mature game, which kind of flopped, but it will still make some money, and I have uh, half a million in the bank to fix this, uh, so, so I took a fallback on too, even if the game doesn't do that great, so whatever. Anyway, thank you for joining me this time, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.